Yeah, this is the Tim update for January 22nd, 2016. Here I am. And this is the blizzard of 2016 as it's starting. As you can see, the, the, uh, the quarry is partially frozen with a little bit of snow on top of that. It looks cool. And then you have the trail here. You know, it's, it's light snow right now. You know, nothing major. And it stayed like this. It would probably be, be gone just like that other storm a couple days ago. But, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately for most, it isn't going to stay that way. This is supposed to get heavier, windier. Uh, this may be the last time in a while I'll be over here. I mean, I don't see anybody shoveling this path, so, you know, getting here and walking around here is probably going to be a you know, pretty good task. But, yeah, here I am. <clears throat> you know, As you can say, I guess, to come before the real storm. You know, like I said, light snow. Uh, nothing major right now. And it's hard to believe tomorrow it could be blowing and drifting snow. Right about now, the low is just forming off the uh, South Carolina coast. The new low. <clears throat> the one that's going to bring us the nor'easter. This is just a actually the remnants of the uh, Pacific storm, you know, but the energy is being transferred and it's going to blow up into a monster storm. It's going to bomb out, as they say. And there's where I've been, you know, pretty over here, no fucking mutts to, uh, shit everywhere. Fucking hate that. Uh, guess everybody's hunkered down, ready for the storm. And so am I. I will be giving you updates throughout the night and tomorrow here on WQPHQ95. And I don't know about 15 minutes later, the snow's picked up, oh, shit, the snow's picked up somewhat, I'm on the pier now, um, yeah, as you can see, it has picked up, eh, it's about, I would say, partially moderate snow, as the seagulls, cold as shit out there, uh, just gave me a little bread and stuff. Anyway, um, the calm before the big storm, I guess you could say. There's a little platform I go up and sit. Usually that's where I'm taping from, but today I decided to do a little, you know, walking. You know. Anyway, uh, I'll give an update later. Probably not from here, but definitely be giving updates throughout the night. Later. See, this is a little later. Um, it's five something. And, well, probably about six something. Um, it's darker than the video is showing, but the, uh, the snow intensity hasn't really picked up, but the wind has. There's about, oh, maybe an inch and a half that's fell so far. But, um, you know, it's not really coming down that hard, but the wind is picking up. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, still in its infancy. I'm still at the quarry. Uh, heading home now. But it's coming down. It's certainly coming down. As you can see, uh... Be back in a minute. I'm up at the uh, 
the uh, top, you know, my spot. But uh, I'm going to be heading back. It's just uh, it's coming down pretty good. All right, blizzard warning in effect. This goes right until early Sunday morning, although we do think the bulk of this storm will be winding down before dawn on Sunday morning. So uh, likely the most intense part of this thing will be late tonight and during the day tomorrow. The snow intensity will be picking up and so will the winds, especially after midnight tonight and going toward daybreak tomorrow. And then it'll all pull out of the area early Sunday morning. So two aspects to the storm. I've been focusing on snow. Tony's been keeping a close eye on the wind conditions that we expect. Here's the snow that's falling across the region. And you do notice those uh, bluer shades, those darker blue shades. Those are areas where we pick up bands of very heavy snows. You can see some there down north of Richmond, a band that's been moving up into southern uh, sections of uh, Pennsylvania. And that's what we're going to be seeing, I think, over the course of the next 24 hours, really. Bands of intense snow that'll ease up occasionally, then pick up again. And within those, in the strongest part of the storm, we could hear a little thunder at times as the system system is moving on through. Uh, the system itself is way down on the coast now. We've had uh, one area of low pressure move into northern Georgia. It's weakening a bit. The other one is strengthening near Charleston, South Carolina. That's the one that ends up moving up the eastern seaboard and giving us the potential for uh, one and a half to two feet of snow as it makes its curl up the eastern seaboard. So especially from Baltimore south and west into D.C. and west into the mountains, the heaviest amounts, eastern shore, dry slot, maybe even a little rain could mix in at times, so you get lesser amounts. But I think even in Queen Anne's, Caroline, Kent, County, you're going to get 15 to 18 inches of snow most likely by the time it's all said and done. Ocean City will have more rain than snow, but even there, they may end up with a few inches of snow before it's all finishing up early Sunday morning. So that's the snow part. Let's head over to the wall, talk to Tony and see what's going on in the wind category. Yeah, you mentioned the blizzard warnings in effect, and we all know that by now, but something has just popped up in the last hour or so in case you missed it. The blizzard warning has been expanded into the southern part of Pennsylvania now. So I know a lot of you watch us over the state line. It now includes uh, York and Lancaster counties up there in uh, Pennsylvania. So Tom uh, gave you the criteria for what is a blizzard. Uh, wind gusts over 35 miles per hour and a uh, visibility down to a quarter mile. And we think we're going to meet those uh, criteria as we head towards the late night hours tonight and especially during the day tomorrow. But it's not bad at the present time as far as the wind goes. These are the current steady winds out of the northeast at six, seven miles per hour. It is cold, though. I mean, the current temperatures are in the low 20s. And even with a six, seven mile per hour wind, the wind chills are in the uh, teens at least right now. And you can see that reflected by the reporters shivering <laughs> on all of our live shots out there this evening. A wider view on the wind gusts. So you can see down in Norfolk just had a 35 mile per hour wind gust. So that's an indication now that perhaps uh, some of that energy has transferred over to the coast and maybe that coastal storm is getting going down there off the outer banks of North Carolina. So as that gets closer to us, the winds will pick up here in the Baltimore metro area. This is our uh, future cast uh, wind gusts for 11 o'clock tonight. You can see by then we expect wind gusts to be 22, 23 miles per hour here in the city. And as we go into tomorrow morning, they'll just pick up from that point. Uh, wind gusts perhaps approaching 50 miles per hour by 7 o'clock in the morning uh, tomorrow on the western shore of the bay. You can see a 55 mile per hour gust forecasted by the computer down there in Cambridge. So you get the point, it's going to get windy, it's going to be cold, and those winds will continue all the way into Saturday evening. The wind direction will shift from the northeast perhaps to the northwest as the storm pulls away, but still expect strong winds uh, even into Saturday night and Sunday when the sun comes out. Well, now it's uh, about a 10 something. is picked up. As you can see, it's really coming down now. There's about, uh, there you go, about five inches so far. It's really picked up in intensity since the last time I made an update. And I mean, it's really picked up. The wind is blowing, the snow's heavier. I mean, it is really coming down. Look at that. Damn. Yep. We'll be back shortly with another update. Well, here we are again. About 12.30. Well, about 12.15. And I just took another measurement. 
which now it's showing six, seven inches. Bet that. Snow's still coming down. Wind's still blowing pretty good. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're heading down to the pier. Not the quarry this time. It's a little too far for this time of night. Uh, but as you can see, it's the wind's blowing pretty good. I'd say the snow is <clears throat> maybe on the borderline being real heavy. This is a lot of flakes. And that could be just as bad as, you know, heavy snow. But again, it doesn't match 83 or 11 as far as heavy snow. Now looking at the flakes, it, it's actually uh, a lot of flakes, which can add up too. But January 26th of 2011 and February 11th of 1983, the flakes were heavier, thicker, you know, and it was dumping a lot more snow. You know, it was like three to four inches an hour. I'll be back. It's 30 in the morning. It's piling up. That idiot. Yeah. Still coming down. Blizzard conditions. I'll be going out later to do some uh, updating. Yeah, it sounds like a little sleet hitting the damn window. Huh. Alright, well, I'll be back shortly. walking in this shit. Damn. I guess it's... I'm going to be walking in the street. Yeah, it's gotten that deep where you have to do street walking. Man. Thank God for plows. Whoa. Ooh, almost fell there. Anyway, this is January 23rd, day number two is a lot deeper than it was yesterday, that's for damn sure. Sears Road, or Church Road, Sears Road's up the street by Green Elementary. I'm walking in the street because it's the only way I can walk. It's not really heavy, heavy snow, you know, that's why, I mean, it's not as deep as I thought it would be at this time, it's still got some hours left, but, eh, I don't think we're breaking any records tonight. I'm not going to be able to walk all the way around because it's a good foot and a half deep here. You know, look at that. That's definitely impassable. I mean, I could make it around if I wanted to, but what's the sense? You know, like I said, it's not heavy snow. It's just continuing snow. And it's piling up, but... Just got back to the house from the quarry. Snow's still coming down pretty good. As you can see how deep it is here. And with this drift, that's about two feet there. But, you know, regular measurements, about 14 inches here, maybe 15. But with the wind blowing, it's hard to tell. I'll be back later with 
more updates. It's four o'clock, and actually the intensity of the snow has picked up. So is the wind, and you can see mounds of snow. You know, I wouldn't even try to think how much snow has fall fell. Uh, <clears throat> I would say about 18 inches or more. But the snow intensity, as you can see, has really picked up. I mean, it's really coming down. And the wind is just atrocious. Man. Uh, it should be winding down in about four hours, I'd say. But it's going to give them another punch here. So it does. Um, well, it is really coming down. go off. Come on. Okay. It's about five o'clock. Man, is this shit really blowing? Man, it's still pretty heavy. Yep. Actually, this is probably the worst it's been all day. I couldn't say how deep it is, but it's got to be close to 20 some inches at least winding down soon, but, yeah, look at that one, mm. damn, let's go, 60, winding down, uh, look at me, I just, <laughs> I just came out, I'm already covered, well, Or uh, something. Look at this. This whole gate is completely pushed in. That's about two and a half feet of snow here. Uh, ponytail guy. Uh, pushed some of this. But, uh, um, it's winding down now, but it cracked the top in, and before all snow is done, it could crack the top five. So, look at it, it looks like a wasteland. Here we are at the frames and Pretty deep. There's Stratman. It's about. You know, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's a good 24 hour documentation. And the cops were just up the street, but they left. And I don't know why they were up the street, but. Uh, anyway, all this mist and all don't ruin this film. 
This again, coming in the alley. Um, we came down here last night. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the pier, but this is the way to it. How uh, I wanted to get a pier shot, but that snow's too deep. Anyway, this is, might be the last update. The storm is winding down. It's still snowing. But it's winding down. I'd say probably about 20 inches. It's, it might snow another couple more hours. Um, it's not going to break the record. Uh, decided to do a little bit more. There's the snow. It's blowing pretty good too. Uh, and there's everything. That's where I was. Here's the drifts. That drift there is about two feet or more. There, but these are all drifts, per really, so really can't take a good measurement there. That's why these wind driven storms are hard to judge. Anyway, this is the blizzard of 2016. Down at the pier, seems to be some kind of shit going on over there. But it's starting to drift here. See? A lot. God, that's pretty deep. Uh, I did a lot of updates on this pier. Uh, the tide is really out. As you can see, the. Yeah, this is like around, I'd say around 12, 20 a.m. Now the water isn't frozen yet. But, uh, the wind is really, really picked up. I mean, it is freezing. It's really freezing out here. heading back because this is what you know this is what it's, I 
identified as a true blue blizzard. Soothing and blurry. Uh, anyway, look at this. This is actually shoveled a few times a day. Look at this shit, man.